Hey guys, Mike Chitatis here with TriMastersSwimming.com and uh, I am here at uh, the very interesting and beautiful uh, Falling Rock Quarry in LaGrange, Kentucky. Uh, there was an open water swimming event today that was actually scheduled to be in the Ohio River. Uh, it's kind of an annual event uh, that occurs three, four weeks out from Ironman Louisville, but there's some issues in the river with algae growth and they had to move the venue literally with within days notice uh you know they did all this within the last couple of days they actually secured this venue you can see behind me um so here we are and uh actually i sat in the kayak today uh watching many or watching all the uh swimmers uh swimming either a 1k 2k or 4k uh swim today and i wanted to share with you something that uh, was reminded of you know this being one of the last open water events we're going to see in this area for a little while um, it was reminded of a couple of things uh, as well as um, I, I, I made a connection with this so the the fundamentals of open water swimming you know the one thing you want to master obviously is swimming a straight line uh, and or sighting but what I what was kind of a new connection to me was how sighting, swimming a straight line, how that ties back to your technique, and then how that ties back to um, literally your shoulder mobility, strength, and flexibility. Uh, so I witnessed, uh, you know, many, many swimmers zigzagging all over the place, literally like all morning. And, uh, but it was fairly evident to me how very stiff they are and if you don't have a lot of flexibility for that overhead movement of freestyle swimming um, it can really hinder how straight a line you can swim in open water so um, that was just kind of a remarkable thing that I noticed and just wanted to share with you because we're heading into the off season and now's the time really that we encourage that I would encourage you to be focusing on on your swimming uh, you know for next season start preparing start going back to the basics and with that work really really hard on your sh upper body your upper thoracic your shoulder uh, strength and mobility you've got to have some flexibility in there and if you're an adult onset swimmer you you may not have the most flexible shoulders but uh, you've got to start that process and, and thus by by doing that ultimately you know next season I guarantee you you'll see some improvements in your swim times because you'll have more mobility to be able to sight and control the front part of your stroke that the front end of your stroke that overhead movement uh, when the arms get up into that position during the stroke uh, so it's all going to support that and thus being able to get a lot of sight straight uh, sight better and swim straighter lines and really that was that if I saw people zigzagging all over the place today if they could just have swim uh, swim a straight line from one boot to the next and, and we're not talking far distances they had to swim kind of a circular course around this quarry but I just can't imagine how much how more pronounced it would have been if it was a long straightaway in open water so there you go hope that helps get flexible um, in your upper body your shoulders make that a priority this winter in the off season and congrats to all of you today who completed either a 1k or 2k or 4k open water swim great great stuff and uh, if you're watching this and you'd like to get more training like this feel free to go to go to trimasterswimming.com enter your name and email on the right hand side and we'll see you on the next one thanks take care bye bye